All right. Now, so this is lesson 1.6, order of operations. Again, we're marking our prep. Now, from yesterday, we talked about something called order of operations. So, what is the order of operations? What do you remember from the Brain Pop video from yesterday? Natasha. PEMDAS. Okay, so what does PEMDAS stand for? Okay, tell, someone tell me P, Maxton, go. Uh, parentheses. Okay, good. Okay, E, Trevor. Exponent. Okay, M, M, Maria. Multiplication. I think I'm going to get a lot of exercise today in this class. Okay. Um, okay, D. D. Melissa. Division. Okay, A. Um, Alice. Addition or ant. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, finally S. Good to see a lot of hands up too. Um, Jared? Subtraction. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not, sorry. Okay, now, there is, this has, PEMDAS can stand for what? What's the, in the Brain Pop video yesterday, they told you or they gave you ideas of how to remember the acronym PEMDAS. You guys remember that? Yeah. Carlin? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, thank you. For silly. Silly better. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now, another thing I want to remind you of, in PEMDAS, um, we boxed out two operations for each because they were considered on the same level. What's the first level that we boxed out in PEMDAS? Because those two operations, when you see them, they're considered to be the same level. What, which ones are they? Serena. Um, they are multi multiplication and division and addition and subtraction. Okay, so multiplication, division are one level, and then addition and subtraction are another level. Now, with these two levels, when you see multiplication and division in the same sentence, how do you solve it, or what order do you solve it in? Um, actually, Sasha. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I should do this in green here, left to right. Okay, and then mm, I should perhaps box this out too so you're not confused. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or silly, left to right. And with addition and subtraction, same thing, you work from left to right when you see them in the same sentence. Okay, let's see how you all did here. Now, we did number one together as a class, right? Okay, so down to number two here. Now, in number two, you have addition and division. According to, and we always apply PEMDAS, and what I like to do is that on the top of any quiz from now on, any test from now on, or any assignment having to do with order of operations, always jot it down at the page. That's like your cheat sheet, right? So that you'll always refer to this, okay? Now, using PEMDAS to solve number two, which operation or which part of the equation are you going to do first? Michael. Um, 100 plus 65. No. No. Be, be careful with PEMDAS, okay? Just be careful with PEMDAS. Remember what goes first. Brianne. 55 divided by 5. Okay, why do you do 55 divided by 5 first? Um, <laughs> Because it comes first on PEMDAS. Good. Okay. So you're always going to do division first, right? So you should have highlighted that. Now, 
next line. Remember, I know you owe, you do get used to showing your work. So equals 100. Now you still recopy the addition because you haven't done it yet, right? What is the answer to 55 divided by 5? Um, Davis? 11. Thank you. Okay. And then finally the answer, now you can solve it, 100 plus 11 because that's the addition part. Um, Megan? 111. Thank you. Okay. And then circle your final answer. Okay, good. Okay, on to the next one, number 3. Now in number 3, I hope it's obvious what goes first in this one. Again, highlight the operation you're going to do first. Okay, Jack? Um, you have to do in the one in parenthesis, which is 90 minus 15. Okay, good. So you have to, whenever you see brackets, that always, always, always have to go first. You recopy the second line 20 times. Now, again, your answer for this goes right below. What is 90 minus 15 in parentheses? Um, when I pick yet. Okay. Okay, I'll go back here for Spencer. Okay. 75. Thank you. Okay. I know. I feel like just going. Okay. Now, what's your final answer here? Should have ended up with a larger number in this case, obviously, because you're multiplying. Um, Sarah? 1,500. 1,500? Okay. Okay, I hope this is starting to make sense for you guys, okay? Now, number four, PEMDAS still applies even though you don't have parentheses, right? In number four, you're still applying the order of operations. However, in this case, in number four, you have uh, multiplication and division. So how are you going to solve number four? How do you solve number four? You're still applying PEMDAS. However, what do you do instead? Or what do you do in this case? Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Matthew. Okay. So uh, since you're both in the same like box level, mm -hmm. then you do and you read left to right and then 30 times 20. Okay, so I'm going to just recopy what you said here. So technically, you said left to right, right? In this case, you're going to do this first anyways, right? Okay, keep going. 30 times 20 is? Just copy down to the other side of the line, which is divided by 10. Mm -hmm. And 30 times 20 is 30 divided by 10. Which is? Good. That's cool. your answer for number four. Okay, excellent. Okay, number five. Again, same thing in number five. What are you going to do first? What are you going to do first? Julia, what are you going to do first? 100 minus 40. Okay, thank you. Why do you do 100 minus 40 first? Because, um, because it's in brackets. Okay, good. So obviously, again, all of that goes in brackets first. So what is? So we're going to read copy. I know it's. You have, <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, 100 minus 40, hands up, what's the answer to that? Because again, you do that first. Okay, um, Natasha? Thank you for being loud. Okay, now, here you have, you still have two more left. So you've got 60 plus 6 times 2. In this case, what do you still have to do first? Okay, remember, you still apply PEMDAS in this case. Even though there's no brackets anymore. Trevor, what do you do first? All right, well, um, Six times two is the PEMDAS, so it is twelve. Okay, so you're doing the multiplication first. Okay, so it's sixty plus twelve, and then your final answer is. Seventy-two. Um, Davis. Seventy-two. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, you guys are doing well. Oops, I forgot to circle this answer too. Okay, finally the last one. Okay, 45 divided by 25 divided by 5 in brackets times 3. What are you going to do first? Carlin. And you're going to divide 25 divided by 5. Okay, 25 divided by 5. Again, for this one, whenever you're recopying, do not change the order of in which the question is given. So you still recopy 45 divided by, and then Carlin, what's the answer to 25 divided by 5? 5? 
times 3. You still have to recopy the whole thing as it is in the same order. Now, what do you do next? Yeah, yeah, keep going. Now, do you necessarily have to do that first, though? Which is? Okay, times 3. So you're doing it left to right because you're left with division and um, multiplication. Final answer is? Good. Okay. Please make sure that you are doing the funnel method for all of these questions. Okay, from now on. I know it's a pain showing your work, but this is the way that you'll know if you're doing the steps accurately, if you're following PEMDAS, and you'll see where you went wrong. 